All right, uh, I'm going to do a quick demonstration on using the uh, copy functions within Translate and Rotate to uh, to show moving multiple copies of a piece of geometry around within the same drawing. Uh, the copy and paste up here in Edit, they're really for moving something from, say, Bobcad 2 here over to Coat Rack 1. Say if I you know drew a design here just using this as a scratch pad, but then decided I wanted to add it to this coat rack that I'm designing on the other uh, page. But to move things around within it, you'll use Translate, and you can use any of the three basic modes of Translate. In this case, uh, I'll start off with Drag. The Copy button here is what you want to use. So I'll, with Drag, Copy, it's basically going to drop one copy wherever you click. So I'll select my geometry, confirm it by clicking OK or hitting the space bar, and then as I move around, place it where I want, click, and it drops a copy there. Move it again, click, and it drops another copy. Move again, and you know as many as you need. So that's one way to do it. Another way is if you're going to make a repeating pattern of these, you'll want to you know move this x number of inches in say the x uh, axis and drop a copy, and then that many inches again, drop another copy, and it can be a combination. But we'll go back to translate and we'll use the delta. Uh, in this case, we'll say copy and it gives you a, a, a number selection. And I'll put five in this case. Uh, in the x axis, we'll go four inches and in the y axis, we'll go one inch. One inch. So once you've got all that set up, you select your geometry. Make sure I selected all of that. Okay, I did. You confirm it by clicking OK or hitting the space bar. And uh, then when you hit OK over in the window, it drops out however many you told it on whatever spacing you told it to do. I uh, also want to touch on another one that's really handy, uh, and that's using the copy within the rotate function. Uh, say I want to basically rotate or make a, uh, I'll almost call it a bolt circle, but um, like a bolt circle, I want to put a point down. We'll just drop a point here. And I want five of these flowers arranged around this point. Okay, so I go to the rotate function. Uh, I had already set these up just to make sure I had my numbers right. 360 divided by 5 is 72. Uh, I've already got one of the copies in place, so I'll just put four copies instead of five. Um, the 72 degree uh, rotation is around the z-axis, so it's as if you know an axis is coming out of the, uh, the point here and striking me in the nose. I'm going to be looking down on the, uh, the circle here. So once you've got that set up, oh, and you do need a pick origin when you're going to be selecting a point. Otherwise, you can click on enter and then just type in your coordinates. Uh, and this, it's a little bit easier to, to uh, do if you're looking at a point. So once all that's set up, you've got your, your uh, axis of rotation, you've got your number of copies, and of course, primarily the most important thing is copy is selected here. Uh, once you've got all that set up, select your geometry. Click OK or hit the space bar, and then when you click on this point, you can see these set up in a preview for you. You say OK, and there you go. Uh, so that's just some of the uses. Uh, it's also in the mirror function. If I want to, uh, let's see, let me cancel out of rotation. Uh, if I want to, say, take this, uh, this five flower uh, piece and I want to have that on the other side of you know an object here say I've got a stem here uh, I can go to a line we'll just sketch a vertical line like that and then we'll go to mirror uh, I'll select my geometry I don't want that one I will Tell it to mirror around a line. You can also tell it to mirror around various planes here that are that are set up, or you can pick on uh, something with Sketch or Enter. Click on Copy, and then when you confirm your selection by clicking OK or hitting the space bar, 
the next thing you do is click on the line that you want to mirror around click that hit OK and there you go it's put one directly on the other side of whatever geometry you used here so that's some of the uses of, uh, of the copy function within translate rotate and mirror that'll uh, that'll give you a hand with with moving things around on your screen and getting multiple copies hopefully that'll help you